the solution to this example. Let's get it into Power Queries under Data from Table Range. And you'll see when I pull it through, you can immediately see that at the moment it seems to have brought all the inverted commas through. So we now need to make sure that they get removed, especially for the numbers. So let's try a few things. So let's try some stuff. So first thing, maybe it's as simple as just changing the type from a text. I'm going to right click, change the type. It looks like it should be decimal numbers. So I'm going to add it as a new step. So I've got a new step there. Notice lots of error messages. So clearly that didn't work. Let's get rid of that step. Perhaps we need to replace this problem character, the inverted commas. So I'm going to go to transform, replace values. I'm going to say please replace all the inverted commas with nothing. I'm going to say OK. Seems to have worked. That should be fine. My computer should work with full stops here. So let's see. Let's change it to decimals. Oh, same thing, error messages. Let's get rid of that. Let's try now, I'm going to replace the full stops with full stops. Perhaps that's a strange full stop that's causing the problem. So replace value, I'm going to say please look for full stops. And let's replace them with full stops. Bit of a strange thing to do, but let's try. Doesn't seem to have happened, just in case. No, not happening. So these are one of the cases where you just you may spend hours and hours just trying to figure out. One thing you may want to do then is try the exact opposite. So this may sound strange, but my, I know my computer does not work with commas for decimals. And yet, if I say replace values, and I tell it to find the full stops and replace them with commas. So that's probably the exact opposite of what I should do. When I say OK, OK, so I've got commas here. Now this shouldn't work yet. Now when I go and I change the type to decimal numbers, you'll see it actually does work. So sometimes you must just do the exact opposite of what you think you should do. You just need to play with it until it does what you need. Let's just clean the rest of the data. So it looks like I'm guessing that a simple replace values here on the inverted comma should work. So replace that with nothing. Okay, it seems to have worked and we are happy that it's text. Same thing over here. Replace that with nothing. Okay, that's great. This is clearly a date. Let's just force it to be some sort of a date. So let's do date. Okay, it doesn't seem to work. Okay, and let's try and get rid of our inverted commas. Okay, so we now have got the inverted commas sorted out. Let's change it now to a date. So just notice we've got, for example, 30th of January 2015. <laughs> Okay, so that's okay, but if you look closely, you'll see there's some nonsensical numbers here. So this is something that could cause problems. You have to be careful about it. I'm just going to undo it, because those are things we're going to address when we get to the dates issues.